At this point, if you've been completing the workbook as you progress through the course, you have a business model and are ready to look at how you put that model into action. You know the what of your product or service offering. The next step is creating the conditions necessary for the people who want what you are offering to know that they can get it from you. This is called marketing, and you need to create a marketing plan if you want your business to develop efficiently. There are three primary things you need to know to create a marketing plan. One, who you are selling to. Two, why they would want what you are selling. And three, where are they likely to see your message? So let's first consider the who, the kind of person your product or services would most be able to help. What is their gender? How old are they? Are they married or single? How much money do they make per year? Do they have children? And if so, what are the ages of those children? What kind of work do they do? Where do they shop? What is their favorite social media platform? What newspapers or blogs do they read? Record in the workbook as many details as you can think of about the person you imagine would want to buy the sort of offering you are making to meet one of their core needs. Second, we need to flesh out the why. This is our message to them about why they would want what we are offering them. Depending on who they are, we might phrase this message differently. Let's say we are selling an app that counts calories for dieters. If our who is mothers who have given birth recently and are trying to lose the baby weight, we might talk about getting back to your pre-baby size or keeping the baby but losing the extra pounds and so on. But if the app was being marketed to college students, you might talk about beating the dreaded freshman 15 or fitting into that killer a little black miniskirt. It's the same app and it actually does the exact same thing. Help people manage their weight by adding up their caloric intake when they input their meals each day. But your message has to fit your who. What problem are they trying to solve by using your product or service? What benefit are you giving them in terms of what they value right now? Write this in the workbook. Third, now that you know what your people are like, where they hang out online, and what they want, you just need to decide where you're going to put your marketing message so that they are likely to see it. Even if you already included some of this information under your general description of your ideal client, record separately in the workbook the websites, blogs, newspaper, and social media sites your target market is hanging out on online. Then decide how to best reach your audience for that setting. It really varies by setting. It is easiest to reach people on Facebook by posting in groups, if using free marketing, or by boosting a page post, if using paid marketing, or by posting videos, if posting to your timeline from your profile. It is easiest to reach people who read blogs by having the blogger review your product or service, buying visual ads, or commenting with backlinks to your sales page. That is an increasing order of difficulty for getting the results you want. Think about where your people are congregating, then research the best way of marketing to people on that platform. Then formulate your plan of attack. What do you intend to do to make sure your people know you exist and that you have the solution they are seeking? How will you give them the opportunity to buy from you? If you need to learn more about marketing in general, under the exercise for this lecture within the workbook, there's a link to a free enrollment in the marketing course I produced with a group of successful entrepreneurs. That is more of an overview course that will give you the basics of understanding different marketing approaches and how to best use them. If you know exactly what you want to do and just need more help learning how to best do it, then I would suggest more targeted books, trainings, or courses like Succeeding on LinkedIn or What the Facebook Pros Know. Those aren't actual books or courses, but in general, my point is just be specific. Don't try to do everything at once. Do one thing well enough to see results. This is made a lot easier by simply liking the marketing method you are using. If you are having fun using it, you're likely to not only put in the hours it takes to master it, but it also comes across more attractively when you do. You'll be magnetizing people with your natural joy when you're engaged in the marketing activity that is joyful to you. It really does shine through. 
Once your marketing plan is in place, all that is really left is to decide when you're going to first release it and how. Will you first privately announce to people you know? Do you already have a mailing list of readers who you can announce to? Can you offer an early bird discount of some kind with a clear expiration date to encourage immediate action? If you don't already have an audience, would you be better off taking the months to build your audience before launching the business? Or are you using someone else's platform so not needing an audience of your own? For example, to sell your own products or services from your own website, it is probably best you have an audience of dedicated readers before you launch, especially if what you are offering is something that needs to feel like it's happening before people want it, such as a membership site or a paid forum. But if you're using affiliates to market for you, all you need is to sign up with the affiliate sites and have a decent enough sales page that when they send you traffic, you're able to convert it into sales. For Aspiritech, I didn't need an audience because each project was so large that I only needed a few a year to do quite well. A search engine optimized website was marketing enough, even starting from scratch. So consider what you are offering and what people are doing for marketing in your industry. This is definitely not a one size fits all solution. Write out in the workbook what strategy you intend to take to first announce your new product or service offering to the world and then do it.